This video brought to you by the Bose Headset 10. And by WX Weather. Tuesday, July 29th, 2008, New Zealander Glenn Martin brought his Martin Jetpack to the Experimental Aviation Association's Air Venture Oshkosh Air Show in Wisconsin. He flew it before a very large crowd. For safety considerations, the aircraft was literally restrained by two men. In testing, and you'll see some of that footage in a minute, the aircraft has performed independently. The 200 horsepower piston engine drives two ducted fans and does make the name Jetpack a bit of a misnomer. Power is provided by a two-stroke, two-liter engine. The ducted fans provide the lift and two joysticks provide the control. The rotors themselves are made of a carbon Kevlar composite they're 1.7 feet in diameter and have a maximum RPM of 7,058. Fuel burn for the aircraft is 10 gallons per hour. At that burn, the company hopes to achieve a 31.5 mile range at 63 miles per hour. Martin says the jetpack weighs under 250 pounds and qualifies as an ultralight aircraft. That means you don't need a pilot certificate to fly one. And if you did fly one, it would look a lot like this. The company says the machine can fly for 30 minutes fueled by regular gasoline. Test flights so far have not flown higher than about 6 feet above the ground, but Martin says he plans to take it to 500 feet within the next 6 months. Theoretically, the jetpack can fly up to 8,000 feet. Safety considerations include a ballistic parachute and impact-absorbing undercarriage and redundant systems, according to the company. Copies went on sale at Oshkosh with prices starting at $100,000. Positions may be held by deposit. Martin says he sees it as a recreational sport vehicle and expects he might sell 10 to 20 by this time next year. We'll be here again to find out. <laughs> 